Hello traders, hello traders, the title of the video is Power of a Yearly Chart Key Levels a Trading. Uh, we are recording this video today because uh, a YouTuber of the name uh, Harry uh, posted a comment uh, saying that uh, he has been using the Yearly Chart Key Levels and they were away some all right have you been using the yearly chart key level for day trading swing trading and position trading they are away some all right powerful so usually traders will stack on the daily charts all right looking for trading setup only few technical traders dare to go to the yearly chart so some traders do not have even the yearly chart, so they can't see the yearly chart because of the trading software that they are using. If that is you, all right, if you can only see the monthly chart, then use the monthly chart key levels. All right, so what we are about to discuss today, if you, don't, if you do not have the yearly chart, do not worry, apply the same strategy for the monthly chart or quarterly chart, all right? So you should be at least, uh, be able to see the monthly chart at least the monthly chart if you do not have the monthly chart well that's not good look for another trading software all right if you have the quarterly chart but you do not have the yearly chart use the quarterly chart if you have the yearly chart all right draw the key level and you will see the power of the yearly chart key levels the trading software that i'm using today is a TC2000. There is another trading software that I was you know, talking about TC2000 for new traders. It's a T for Tango, C for Charlie, and then number two, zero, 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 TC2000. All right. Now I use another trading software that we call uh, Trading View. So Trading View, V I E U, Trading View. All right. You can also see the 12 month chart, which is the yearly chart. In the past, I was using uh, a, a trading software that we call uh, a Sierra Chart, okay? S-I-E-R-R-A, Sierra Chart, all right? So those uh, charting software should allow you to see the yearly chart, very, very important. Personally, if I cannot see the yearly chart, I don't want to trade that financial instrument, all right? Power of yearly chart key levels. Thank you, Harry, for posting an excellent uh, comment. Uh, with that, we can record a video to demonstrate the power of the yearly chart key levels uh, trading. So we can draw, all right, trend line. So on the yearly chart, all right, we can draw no more horizontal support and resistance on the yearly chart, all right. We can also draw channels. On the yearly chart, all right? We can apply uh, market geometry on the yearly chart, so which means we draw a channel, either horizontal channel, rising channel, or declining channel, and then we project the channel in the direction of the price. For those of you that are very new to the topic of market geometry, go to www.dprotrader.com, check out our web page relating to the market geometry. We can also draw a Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci retracement on the yearly chart. So do not limit yourself only to the trend line and horizontal key level. All right, use trend line, use support and resistance level, use market geometry, use Fibonacci retracement, use Fibonacci extensions on the yearly chart, and then you just leave those key level on your on your chart. And then you can switch even into the hourly time frame, all right, looking for bullish chart pattern on, on near one of those key levels or bearish chart pattern. You can look for bullish trading setup, okay, break it both, retest, all right, and so on, all right. Uh, no more chart pattern, all right. Uh, Alia way pattern on, on near one of those key levels, all right. So when we are talking about overbought, we are talking about resistance level. So sometimes the financial instrument will reach those target level. Another thing that we can use on the yearly chart is what we call uh, uh, a price target. 
So the price target is a key level. The price does not go up or down for no reason. It's always headed to a specific target. There is a midpoint target and an ultimate target. So we can also use a price target on the yearly chart. So like this now, I'm on this yearly chart. The financial instrument that we are analyzing is Anadarko Praetorium Corporated, Epic APC, Alpha Papa uh, uh, Charlie uh, belongs to the high capital a thousand uh, uh, index. All right, this is an American okay a company. All right, so we're going to start drawing lines. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a trend line. So I'm going to connect the low here where my cursor is, okay, to this low here. We don't want the video to be too long, so we're going to go very very fast. Connecting two low on a yearly chart. This low here and this one here. Look, recently, that's on a yearly chart, all right? You see it? So it's trying the price going down now, all right? It's heading to this trend line. But if you do not draw it, you won't see it on your chart, all right? Draw it on your chart. And also, you can see. Uh, in 2016, as he was crashing down, crashing down, look, he found a support here. So swing traders who draw this uh, trend line managed to catch this inter the trade here. Position trader did inter the trade in 2016. The price came down fast and they found a support and went back up. Now you see, after going up, okay, it's now coming back down near the same key level. That's just one trend line. I can draw another trend line on my chart. Which one should I draw now? Okay, I will connect this low, the one that we used before, this one. Hold on, please. I will explain it to you in a minute. So don't 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 worry too much because you just need to draw it. You can connect any low and, and another low. You can connect any high with another high. You can connect another high with another low. Alright, and so on and so on. So I'm connecting this low here and that one there. So I have a new trend line. So I'm just, okay, it's here. So it's 2011, probably crashing down, crashing down, crashing down. Look, it's stopped on the edge of that trend line. All right, you'll be amazed. It's not by mistake that the price fund did stop here. See here? Now, this one, after he found his support on the first trend line, he closed, you see here, he pushed it back above this trend line, you see. But the, the gorgeousness of using this, you see, this, this is this year, okay, this is 2019. So if I change the color of my second trend line into red, and then I change my time frame quickly to the weekly chart, that's the red line, you see here, that's trend line. You see that? You see? So price form a higher low near that uh, okay trend line. A low and a higher low. In fact, we have another higher low here. This is on the weekly chart. So it's a double bottom chart pattern with a higher low in the vicinity of that key level. Swing traders take advantage of that. Right now, recently you can see it breaks below that red trend line and then it retested. This is a very trendy setup. Break below, retest, common settle is broken, implement a top down But this one is a tricky one because the candlestick bar that goes below it was too long. So that's why this one went a little bit up near the media line of that long candlestick bar where people are trying to sell it now. Okay. Going back again to the yearly chart, I want you to understand this so you may do it on your chart as Harry has done it. Uh, He's saying that it's a waste sum and it's truly, truly a waste sum. Okay, so we can also connect a high and another high. So we just select one candlestick kind of bar here on the yellow chart. We connect it with another high. I'm going to connect this high here. Hold up, let's do it properly. I'll explain to you in a minute. So we're connecting this high here to this high here. Are you following me? Okay. 
Good. You see now? So those two highs, that's it. Look. Which year is that? 2007. It was going up, going up. That's why it found a resistance. Again, following year 2008, it went a little bit above it, but it closed below it, bearish. So it went above it, confirming that this trend line is a resistance. Look. Again, look at that. Look how this one stopped there on the edge. All right, resistance is a resistance, probably finding a resistance around it. All right, so if it goes above it, it goes above it, come back below it, people are selling down. It goes back above it, come back below it, people are selling, it goes back. See, here it went above it again. See that they are just selling above that trend line. All right. Are you getting it now? Okay, let's do another one. We're going to connect now a high and a low. So I'm just going to choose this high here. And I'm going to connect it to another low. So this high, I'm connecting it to this low. You see? And then you just leave it there. It's your chart. You don't have to ask for permission. You just draw it. And leave it there on your yearly chart. And you can drop down, you see now, this pink turn line, you see here? This high and this low. It went below it, but closed, you see, there it is. So it opened here, went below it, only to come back here. Oh, sorry, sorry, this is a bearish tendency, but by the way. So it opened here, went all the way below the peak trend line, but it closed above the peak trend line. See this one, you see? It found the support, it's a support. Support, it's a support. Look at this one. It went below it, closed back. This one tried to retest it again. Now that we are coming down, you see here, we were saying that the price is likely to come to the blue trend line, but before that we have that pink trend line. If we go again to the weekly chart, hopefully we'll see that pink trend line. Here it is. So, you see. Oops, I moved my pink trend line a bit. All right. Let's go back and correct it. A little bit. That's it. So if you go to the weekly chart again, see that pink trend line. See, I was coming near that. Now we are coming again near that pink trend line. So can we see it on the daily chart? You see the red one we can see on the daily chart. It went below it. One, two, three. All right. See. So you can use. So what what you need to do? Uh, is uh, to draw all those key levels. Like I said, you can also use Pitchfork 2 on the yearly chart. Go, go to www.dayportrade.com to master the Pitchfork tool uh, trading. All right. So we can do a lot of things on the yearly chart, all the key level, talking about Pitchfork 2, talking about market geometry, talking about price target, talking about trend line, normal support and resistance level. Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci retracement, we can draw all those key levels on a yearly chart. All right, so suppose you are somebody who always like to trade on a daily chart. You go first on a yearly chart and you draw all those key levels and then you drop, you drop down to your daily chart looking for, okay, so like now I can apply Fibonacci retracement, so it probably went up from here all the way up there. Apply Fibonacci Retracement, you see all those lines are there, all right? Okay, so the price recently just went below the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. The next key Fibonacci retracement level is what? 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level. All right, so I have them all on my chart. I'm going to color this one now into quads, the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. On the yearly chart, you see here it's there. And then and we, if you go on the daily chart, you see here it is. That is 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement on the yearly chart. Okay, let's go even on the daily hourly time frame. Here it is on the hourly time frame. So you know you see price gap down, rally up to retest it, and it's slowly down. Yeah, it came near it from the resistance. So you can look for bullish chart pattern, but so what you can do, you can say Try rallying up to a key level on the yearly chart. You rally up to the key level on the yearly chart. Common sense is broken. You must use different time frame trading method to trade it. 
Right? It's not sufficient to just sell it. Here you can see that the price form a double bottom chart pattern. I'm on the daily chart around that, uh, okay, 61.8%. In fact, it's here, 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. After it goes above it, we test, now it went up, All right? So this is just to show you the power, okay, of yearly chart, key levels. First step, go to the yearly chart. Place multiple pitfalls to use market geometry, all right? Draw normal horizontal support and resistance level and trend lines. Apply market geometry, price target, Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci retracement, all right? And then drop down to your, you can even drop down to the four hour time frame. And once you have done it, okay, just by doing that first, it's like you are using multiple time frames. So, yearly chart, you are connecting, for instance, if uh, I go to the 50 minute time frame, we can't see any of those lines. So, now you can see those one or two lines here. So, what I've done is like I'm connecting the hourly time frame to the yearly chart because I can see the key level of a yearly chart on the 50 minute time frame. All right. That's how you do it. Even if you are scalping on the five minute time frame, you can connect the yearly chart to the five minute time frame, which means you're going to look for your scalping trading setup on or near one of the yearly chart key level. So the key levels are powerful because all the price is doing all the time is going from one key level to another key level. Support, resistance, either it's a trend line, pitch for crew, market geometry, price target level, Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci retracement, okay? Pitch for crew on the yearly chart. So the mistake that you want to make is to go to the five minute time frame, 15 minute time frame, 10 minute time frame, just trading with the stochastic anywhere, anyhow. So if you love trading the RSI, stochastic, MACD, draw first those key level and then go to your lower time frame and use your indicator, the technical indicator, on or near those key levels in conjunction with the trend line. So very simple to find overshoot, price goes down and the common set line is broken. But where it's broken, you want it to, to be near a key level from a higher time frame. An overbought means the price goes from one support level to a resistance level, and that common set line is broken, and you want to make sure it's near a key level from a higher time frame, and then implement a total trimeter to sell it. That will help your trading, your RSI trading, CCI trading, and so on, right? If the video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, mark it down. All right. If you think it's an essential tutorial that can help other traders, uh, feel free to share it on the social website. All right. To learn more about technical trading, go to www.stochastic-macd. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is 24 Stock Trader. Digit 2, Digit 4 Stock Trader. Be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about power of yearly chart, key levels of trading. Happy trading to you all and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. We are recorded with this video today because uh, a YouTuber of the name Harry Canal uh, did okay, post a comment that he was using the yearly chart key level and they were a waste of Try them and let me know in the comment section whether they are waste of or not. If you do not have the yearly chart, you can use the quarterly chart. If you do not have the quarterly chart, you can use the monthly chart you must have at least the monthly chart. You may use the TC2000 to see the yearly chart, trading view to see the yearly chart, uh, and also Sierra chart to see the yearly chart.